Yeah. Oh yeah. I can't read handwriting though. Like, um, you know, like actual handwriting. Yeah. Yeah. I can't read it at all. <laughs> and that was also another barrier too, because uh, some teachers, that's all they write in. Is yeah, that's true. handwriting, and they don't like it when I can't read it. wake up. I like it because it's, I'm sending out awareness on things, so it's wake up to the possibility of dyslexia. I like to horseback ride, I like the outdoors, I like to go hiking, I like exercise, I like to be active. Um, my passion is singing and um, songwriting, surprisingly enough. <laughs> um, so I do, I do do a lot of writing um, because of my songwriting. I, you can't see now, but I have my music binder with me and it's full of songs. Like, it's full. I have at least 20 songs that I wrote. I would describe myself as uh, pretty funny. <laughs> I can be at times. Um, I'm outgoing. I'm definitely creative. I mean, you kind of have to be. It goes with the territory of having a learning disability. Like, all throughout life, you have to find alternate ways to do everything. And so you have to be a creative person to deal with it. The stereotype of dyslexia is that you can't. You just can't, you know. And I, I want people with dyslexia and um, learning disabilities to start thinking differently. To think that you can. And why can't you? You know? Like, that's what makes me mad when I have people telling me, oh, you can't. You can't do that. You can't do that. But you know what? What if I can? And you told me that. I'm speaking more about teachers that have told me that I can't, yeah. you know. I graduated a week early, <laughs> or no, not even, I uh, graduated a semester early, a semester early. The teachers treated me like it was my fault that I was just choosing not to learn, which obviously isn't the case, you know, so. And I think that's often the thought of it, is that it's just you deciding that you don't want to do school or it's just you deciding that you don't want to read, but it's not, it's that I can't. I, yeah, I can't tell if the word is spelled wrong or not. When I try to read, the words jiggle. And like, when I stare at a page, I'll start to see these lines going through, like the lines of each separate word, but like my mind like connects them. So then when I just look at the page, I just see the lines before I see the words. And then I have to focus and see the words, and then I have to make them stay still, and then I have to flip them around if they're not in the right place. And then I, you know, that's why it takes so long for dyslexic people to, to read, because we're, like, trying to, like, force our minds to be different, but we're not. We're not the same as everybody else, you know, like, so it's hard. <laughs> when all the other kids would be taking French, I was not allowed to take French. In uh, elementary school, definitely, I, they made me sit in the hallway <laughs> while all the other kids did French and math. And yeah, so that wasn't a nice experience. <laughs> What they stereotyped was that because I, I had difficulties with reading and writing, that I was not as smart as the other kids. So they put me in a lower level of learning. So when you are dealing with, when you're dealing with learning disabilities and people treating you different, they do treat you different. And not only the teachers treat you different, but the kids treat you different and you get bullied a lot, and you get picked on a lot, and you get made fun of a lot, and 
you just got to learn to deal with that too. I wish they would just make like big TV commercials, you know? <laughs> Don't be mean to people today. Like some people may have problems. Just reminding people every day to be nice. <laughs> so, hi, my name is Ange. So this is a commercial to speak out um, on awareness of learning disabilities. And um, for normal people out there, be nice to people. You know, you don't know what other people have going on in their lives. And um, with snooty little comments, aren't very nice and they hurt. <laughs> so, be nice. Be nice today. <laughs>